Good evening. Before I begin, I would like to thank the many doctors that worked hard to care for my mother. First, Dr. Godino and his nurse, Dawn. Dr. Streck, Dr. Magnot, Dr. Livesey, and Dr. Kim Kimberly Blackwell, and all the others over the years, thank you for taking great care of my mom. My mother is my inspiration. She always made sure that I was prepared for everything, be it soccer, school, a vacation, even her eventual passing. When I found out my mom had cancer, I felt sad. I didn't really know what cancer was, and my mother explained it to me in a way that I could understand. After that, I felt better about my mom being sick. I was still very sad, but now I knew that everything was going on with my mom, and she made it sound less scary, and even and everything would be okay. As time went on, my father made sure that living with a parent that has cancer wasn't as bad as I had thought it would be. It still wasn't fun, and I had days when I was sad, but my mom would always work hard to ensure cancer didn't change our lives. We would take cruises, go for the weekend to my grandparents, and plan trips. There are two trips that I'm really glad I got to do with my mom. We went to Paris for my ninth birthday. It was amazing. I know that that was a trip that my mom really wanted to take me on. I never forgot sitting on the lawn in front of the Eiffel Tower and eating crates with my mom and dad. After Paris, we made a plan to go to Hawaii the next summer. Again, this was an amazing trip, an experience to enjoy with my mom. We paddle boarded almost every morning, explored the other beautiful beaches in the afternoon, had amazing dinners at night. The night we went to a luau was my favorite dinner of the trip. There was one night that is, that is especially special to me. I'll never forget it. My father had to leave a day earlier than my mom and I, so it was just mom and me for 4th of July. We stayed at a resort that is just for military families, so that night there were fireworks over the water and music. I will never forget having that moment alone with my mom. Having lived the majority of my life with a parent battling cancer, I feel it is important for other children like me to be strong and understand the fight that our parents are going through. It's okay to be sad, to get mad, and to wonder what the future will hold. What is not okay is to just stop living and, ex and experience your life. You have to keep going, to keep fighting, and never give up. I want everyone to know that having a parent with cancer is hard, but it's an opportunity to grow as a person. You can either let it control you, or you can control your own life. I have chosen to control it and not let it hold me back. With the help of my friends, family, and my dad, I know it will be all okay, and I will continue to thrive. My mother will always live on in me, and therefore, I am thankful. Thank you, and please make sure the people in your life that you love know it. My mom always made sure I know that she loved me more than anything and always will.